compared to Mysteries of the Paranormal Part 10. Uh, yeah, you guys are right. Ah, you kids are supposed to be memorizing your poems for school tomorrow. Mine's already. It's going to catapult poetry into the next century. <sighs> I hate reciting in front of everyone. I get so nervous, I forget all the words. I know you're shy, dear, but that's all the more reason to practice. Bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. How do I love thee? How do I love thee? Really? Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting. Take the beak from out my heart, and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Ah! Thank you, Mona, <laughs> for that startlingly original interpretation of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. Uh, but, but, Miss Gatto, I'm just getting warmed up. I have lots more to go. Well, we're out of time. Tomorrow we'll start with Lily's poem, since she wasn't quite ready today. You will be ready tomorrow, Lily? <laughs> yes, Miss Gatto. How come you're so tired, Lily? Well, it turns out that Kid Cartoon's channel we got last night is having a super stretch marathon all week. So last night, I snuck downstairs and stayed up watching it. It's even funnier than I remembered. Really? Yeah, you guys should come in and watch some. Uh, I gotta go work on my poem. I'm giving it a side twist. The Canterbury Tales is recited by Zark the Alien. Isn't that one of the longest poems ever written? Not the way Zark the Alien recites it. Come on, Mona. Stretch Junior, help! <laughs> it's not that funny, Lily. Don't you still have to memorize your poem? <sighs> okay. Um, I love thee nicely. I, I mean, I love thee politely. Um, I love thee... I love thee... Uh... Hubba hubba! <laughs> I love thee too! Did you see that? <laughs> Junior's so cute! I just love him. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness She's increases as much as me, thing. as sure as There's ever. There's Lily. Oh, how She's beautiful supposed to recite I today. Am. Clearly, the poet had me in mind when he wrote that. You weren't born yet, dear. Now, since Lily has the flu, George, you're next. My name's George Jamel, and I like to yell. I never lose my cool, because I rule the school. And, um, uh, and I never drool. George, 
You're just making that up as you go along. No, I'm not. You're completely wrong. I can't believe Lily missed school today. She must be really sick. After what I saw yesterday, I'd say that cartoon is what's wrong with her. We've got to investigate. Oh, hi, kids. Lily's upstairs resting, but you can have a short visit, as long as it's a quiet one. Oh, I let the poor dear have the TV in her room to keep her company. Hey, Lily, shouldn't you be resting? <coughs> oh, I am. But the cartoon makes me feel better. What about your poem? Oh, I've been practicing all day. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. That. Come on, I'll show you around. Lily, wait! <laughs> Neat! Cool, we're in a cartoon. We've got to save Lily from Junior. He thinks all those I love these in Lily's poem were for him. <laughs> I'll give the TV a break. Bye, handsome. H how do I love thee? By Elizabeth Bar Browning. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee. Um, I love thee. I love thee too! Charlie and Lily and I need to be excused right away. We forgot Lily's really important uh, surprise prop. Really? Oh, very well, but be quick. Lawrence, you're next. What prop, Mona? Junior! He must have escaped from the cartoon and followed you to school. <laughs> he must be reading George's report card. <laughs> Lily! Hey, where'd he go? <laughs> Lily! Uh, uh, Give her back! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love thee with chocolates! I love thee with flowers! <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> Time to go home, Junior. Lily's going to fail poetry if you don't. No. Uh, no. Oh, let me stay and I'll give you loads of laughs. <laughs> yeah, for real, Lily. Miss Gatto's not going to think Junior here is very funny. 
French Junior, where are you? Dad! You have to go back, Junior. Who's gonna save your dad from Blobbo if you stay here? Come with me. I can't. There's stuff I have to do here. See ya, kiddo. See ya, kiddo. I'm coming, Dad! <laughs> I never thought I'd say it, but class looks better than TV. Except for my dumb poem. Relax. You can't have stage fright after you've been a TV star. Charlie, that's a brilliant idea. I love thee with the love I seem to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. Congratulations, Lily. You came up with a very creative solution to your shyness about performing in public. Here's to Lily winning Best Poetry Performance. Hooray! It turned out to be fun. And next time, I'll be ready to do it live. And now, back to Super Stretch and Stretch Junior! Oh, no! The tradition of celebrating the arrival of spring with the maypole goes back hundreds of years, back to medieval times, and the world of castles, knights, and damsels in distress. I've read lots about this, especially the princesses. Very good, Lily. Now, if there are no questions, let's be on our way to our sneak preview of the medieval day preparations. Yes, Mona? The medieval era became the golden age of ghosts. With all the castles, suddenly ghosts had terrific places Mona, to hang out and... I don't know where you get these ideas. Miss Gatto, I think you'll agree that I should be the princess of medieval day. I have the hat. It's authentic and expensive. But I thought I could be the princess, since I know the most about it. Um, well, uh, Angela does have a real damsel's hat. I really am the best choice for princess. My loyal subjects. Hmm. People didn't brush their teeth back then. Yes, and most didn't even bathe with any regularity. Oh, no, it's so no. disgusting. That's just gross. If I were the princess, I'd make them. Tomorrow, I'll be using this vat to make authentic medieval pottage. A delectable lumpy porridge with bacon fat and tree leaves. Oh, oh, gross. Oh. Reverend Gregory managed to borrow these suits of armor from the museum. Back then, you see, even the knights' horses had some armor. How did the knights breathe inside those suits? Did they have oxygen tanks? It's not a space suit, George. It has lots of air holes. Lily? All of the legends say that the Green Knight was very wicked. And no one knew where or when he might strike next. <laughs> oh, oh, Reverend Gregory. I hope I didn't alarm anybody. Let me show you all inside the castle we've carefully constructed for tomorrow's festivities. Wherefore art my princess fair? Is she here or over there? <laughs> Did we just hear what I thought we heard? Let's catch up with the others. Yeah! Look! In my book, it says that the Green Knight was always searching for a damsel in distress, but even the most distressed damsel was afraid of being rescued by him. Ghosts can be awfully scary, but they hardly ever hurt anyone. Unlike hunger for pizza, which has hurt lots of people. All right, everyone, class dismissed. Hope to see you all here tomorrow. I'll have delicious medieval pottage ready for all of you. Miss Gatto should be making pizza for Medieval Day, not that pottage stuff. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Whoops. Oh. Ah! You got food on my dress! Do not worry, my fair princess, for I will save thee from distress! Here? 
ghost taking out a pizza? I know Ronaldo makes the best in town, but this is ridiculous. Hey, a pizza crust. Where'd he go? For a ghost, he can sure scarf back the pizza pretty quick. And he doesn't like anchovies. Disappeared. <gasps> I will defeat you, Rascals Three, and then my dancer will be free. <laughs> yeah! Reverend Gregory, Oops, sorry. What are you doing in the Green Knight's armor? I wanted to try out the armor for my jousting demonstration, but now I can't get it off. We'll help you. <laughs> okay. One, two... <laughs> it's stuck. I'll have to go to the welder after my demonstration. Well, I hope he doesn't have to damage the armor. Uh, Reverend Gregory, you live in the other direction. Oops. Thanks, Mona. I can't see very well in this contraption. Ouch. I've been reading my books, and I can't figure out why he would attack us. Who knows, but he's probably getting stronger now that he has Reverend Gregory's body trapped in the suit. He's got real power now. The Green Knight used to search the whole world for damsels and- Angela! She's been wearing her dumb damsel hat everywhere. So the Green Knight thinks she's his damsel. We have to get Reverend Gregory out of that armor before something terrible happens. <gasps> Dear daughter, I beseech thee, come hither and consume some pottage. Pottage is a most sublime feast. Uh, pottage? Um, no thanks. I'm running a little late. You sure know how to make great pottage. I followed Miss Gatto's recipe. Although next time I think I'll leave the twigs out. It was like at the pizza place. My parents were talking funny, and eating pottage. Gross! The Green Knight must be getting even stronger. Angela, you should get rid of your damsel's hat. It might be bad luck. I don't think so, Miss Jealous. In fact, I think I'll betake myself to the castle where peasants like you are not permitted. Her and her dunce hat. Hither, ruffians! <laughs> pottage for thee! <gasps> we are definitely back in time. <laughs> I am going to have some old-fashioned medieval fun. <laughs> it's up to us to stop him before we end up stuck forever in medieval pottage world. I don't know. He's the scariest knight of his time. Well, I mean, is it so bad if we go back in time? There's no school back then. No baths, no showers, and you never have to brush your teeth. It's also about 750 years before the invention of television. What are we waiting for? Come on! Now, children, all of the knights of old had their own jousting lance and a loyal steed. <laughs> A damsel in distress. Be right with you, Angela, just as soon as I finish my demonstration. Huh? Ooh, oh. <gasps> <gasps> I will save the damsel in distress before she rules her pretty new dress. The <laughs> Green Knight will save the day and stop anyone in his way. Oh, no, you won't. Your little jig is up, Mr. Green Knight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been ghost slimed. Let this be a warning to all in Timeland that none will escape my great hand. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not ghost slime. It's pottage. The castle's real now. He's winning. No. Not for long. He's about to meet his match. Is there a mortal?
mortal brave enough to meet me in battle? Or are your boasts just babbling prattle? Prepare for defeat, Green Knight. Surely you jest, you knave. Where is the damsel I must save? <laughs> Montessor, one hundred percent polyester? This is an authentic, even to a jester. Look out! <laughs> Prepare to lose, oh feline-headed knight, for I have never, ever lost a fight! Come and get me! This is wonderful! The pottage has made the suit all slippery. Now I won't need to find an armorer so kind as to rid me of this casing. And why didn't anyone come to my rescue? Me, the fairest princess in the castle? Ah! Oops! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Please stand back. My hat is ruined, my dress is ruined, everything is ruined. Ew! There's pottage on my board. Oh, no. The pottage is spoiled. My apologies, Miss Gotto. I stumbled full armor and went splat into the vat. But don't worry. I'm going to order pizza for everyone. Hold the anchovies. All right! What a stroke of luck it was falling into the pottage. I could have been stuck in that armor all day. Or maybe forever. Hey, look! Mmm, <laughs> no anchovies.